Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 11th. I'm Shara Park. This is the KSL Fastcast. It has been 12 years since America and the world watched in horror as the World Trade Center was attacked. Thousands of people were killed on September 11th, 2001, and three of them were Utahns. This morning, a 9-11 memorial is being dedicated at the Utah State University Botanical Center in Kaysville in honor of those three Utahns. Mary Alice Wallstrom of Kaysville and her sister-in-law, Carolyn Ann Bugue, were on American Airlines flight 11 as it crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Brady Howell, a Utah State alumnus from Tremont, was working at the Pentagon when American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into it. We'll have more on today's dedication ceremony honoring these three people on KSL 5 News at noon. Local leaders are responding to President Obama's remarks last night about Syria, saying they're finally glad to hear him speak about it, but disappointed about the lack of action. Senator Orrin Hatch took to YouTube with his reaction, saying the president has struggled to explain why taking action against Bashar Assad's regime is in the best interest of the American people. The uh, Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz went on MB MSNBC's All In with Chris Hayes last night and said he's seen too many inconsistencies from the president. Hatch, Chaffetz, Democrat Jim Matheson, along with Senator Mike Lee and Congressman Rob Bishop have all spoken out against military action. And a tragic story out of Brigham City this morning where police say an apparent murder-suicide took the life of a 16-year-old girl and her stepfather. But investigators are confused about the circumstances surrounding what happened. Police believe 45-year-old Michael Woodruff shot his stepdaughter, Alex Norman, then turned the gun on himself. But no one knows why. Woodruff's wife came home to find her daughter dead in the basement. She called police and that's when they discovered Woodruff's body. Police say there are no signs of a struggle and no record record of domestic violence. Okay, switching gears. Let's look at today's fast cast forecast. Salt Lake 79. We're getting a lot of showers in the area today. Ogden 78, Provo a high of 79, and St. George a uh, high of 80 with some possible lightning in the area as well as those showers. So it looks like across the state, going to have some rain. Grab a jacket. And that's your KSL fast cast for this Wednesday. Have a great day.